Breaking the Wall of Poor Governance. Gulreis Khan, Habib University, Pakistan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, cities like the one we're in, Berlin, can be sometimes our greatest creation as humans. They attract incredibly talented people, like all of you here, um, and they can help us thrive. But there are other cities that are nightmares. They can be frustrating, exhausting, and sometimes quite literally suffocating. And so I come from one, Karachi. Uh, it's a city in the global south. It's one of the largest by population, but it's consistently at the bottom of quality of life indices. And so my question is how, and, and cities like Karachi, they, about 120 million people, they offer the, the promise and possibilities of social mobility to millions of people, but that promise is frustrated by poor and archaic systems of governance. So the question is, how do we bring down the wall of poor systems of governance and improve the quality of life? That's a question I've been working on for about a year in Gari Khata. This is a dense, compact, beautifully chaotic neighborhood where I grew up as a child. Uh, it has about nine blocks, 125 buildings, 10,000 people, and over 200 small businesses of every variety. But, and with its diversity, its density, and its low ecological footprint, it's a poster child for sustainable urbanism. But for all its promise, it's also overcrowded, it's underdeveloped, it's under-resourced, and poorly governed. And nowhere is that more obvious than in the heaps of garbage uh, that we see on the streets. And so, frustrated by all of this, a bunch of residents got together and set up a resident welfare association. And as commonsensical as that sound, it was a pretty radical idea over there. Uh, I've been working with them for a year as a designer to help develop what we call enabling systems uh, for this experiment. We mapped the entire neighborhood and its resources using uh, open source GIS platforms. We're conducting a bottom-up census uh, to understand the demographic dynamics of this neighborhood. We're uh, developing all these communication tools to make this platform uh, more transparent, to make governance more transparent. Uh, what all of these tools combined, which we call the Civic Atlas, help us do is inform, empower, and give the power of negotiation to these residents to talk to elected representatives and municipal authorities. Uh, how, what, should the, what should the capacity of the transformer in the neighborhood be? Uh, where do people go? Where do these 2,000 children that we have go and play because there are no parks? Now, these are questions that help negotiate their own future. Uh, what we're hoping, this, what this prototype showed us was that through the Civic Atlas, we were able to enhance democratic participation, buffer against political volatility as elected representatives change, and, uh, and more importantly, improve quality of life.